聖火弱見極めさせてもらう Hello everyone, Sifu here and today I bring you the third build for my new two build series. Now this build is a little bit different from the other two because we are using corruption. Corruption is a really good element but in my opinion it's a little bit hard to play with because I'm, I'm really picky so I really love to have stuff really good so anyway. Our core stats, 70 mat, uh, constitution, 63 heart, 200 courage, 24 stamina, 200 strength and 200 magic. Now the reason why I have 200 courage, 200 strength and 200 magic is because our weapons scales with these stats. Of course axe scales with something different, the main scaling of stat, at least the axe that I have is stamina but I was able to change change that with transform bonus magic so as you can see right now our attack bonus is magic a minus and attack bonus courage a minus the only way to reach this is by remodeling the blacksmith uh, now our secondary weapon is a split staff as you may know split staff scales with magic and courage really really good scaling other than that, you can dub your points anywhere you want in case if you if you don't feel comfortable with the ones that I have in here. The only one I will highly suggest will be Stamina. Uh, stamina will be good around 24 up to 30 just to have the B Agility and to meet the requirements of the gear that we are using. Other than that, we have a decent defense and a toughness at least we are tanky to some hits in case if you're not playing a stun of penance plus nine if you're playing with stun of penance you get one shot it unfortunately now axe and split staff really good weapons honestly now axe is an amazing weapon really good uh, in, in this one i don't have mystic diet axe as you can see but however i have two star effects that compensate that which are grapple damage and life drain after this kill. Now I understand that Axe might be a little bit difficult to play with because he's so slow blah 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 but trust me Axe is one of the best weapons in the game it does crazy damage crazy key damage as well really really good weapon but, in, but of course if you don't feel comfortable or if you don't know how to play with axe we can also have a sec a third uh, a third weapon our third weapon would be dual swords as you can see these dual swords have already fixed that as grapple damage which is a really good stat honestly now we have miliki damage and mystic dial dual swords now uh, mystic dial dual swords is a must to have in case if you love playing with both mystic cards mystic uh, mystic dia dual swords are really op really amazing if you don't know what it does please read what what are the mystic cards for dual swords you won't regret it to have it now as for melee key damage i like it honestly but it can be better you can have a star life drain after skill or star attack bonus magic as you can see as you may know, dual swords scales with skill. We remove the skill and we just add an attack bonus to have the same effect with our axe. So the graces I'm using are 7 pieces Magatsuki, which is a corruption grace, and 6 pieces Susano to take advantage of versatility. 
Now a secondary weapon is a uh, split staff, split staff really good, I was really lucky to get this one. This one has attack bonus courage, double A, have to skill key damage and mystic die split staff. Really amazing honestly. Uh, as you can see I also have a incredible anima bonus through Ambrit Absorption D+. If you don't know how to get that, really easy. If you have a soul core with this anima bonus or whatever anima bonus you want to, you can always soul match it with a corrupted weapon. Now, range weapons, honestly, as I said, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. As long as you have damage bonus agility 8, we are all good. Now, our set pieces. Now, honestly, I'm not going to focus that much to explain every single of the gear piece because honestly, this is a mix and it's not fully optimized, unfortunately. You can optimize it in case if you would like to farm full veteran set. That would be really awesome in case if you would like to be more tanky. But as you may know, I don't like farming a lot in NEO because RNG in NEO is quite heavy and I don't like it that much. But other than that it also works, it works for Underworld, Deaths of the Underworld and Storm of Penance as you saw in the videos. Uh, now as star effects I have Anima and Increased Attack with the enemy. Really good star effects, you can have another third slot which could, which could be active skill damage, will be really helpful. Now our chest piece chest piece um, really really important and must have for any corruption build sentience charge the star sentience charge is only you can only obtain it in the chest piece and waste guard it is highly important to have this stat because this stat it will depend on how fast your weapon will be awakened um, uh, aside from that, you can have any other star effect that you prefer. You can have damage taken, apti skill damage, melee key damage, apti skill key damage, whatever you prefer. But sentience charge is a must. Other than that, you can run whatever you want to. And our gauntlets, we have apti skill damage and apti skill key damage. I will love to have a star attack but unfortunately I don't and the reason why we are running up to skill damage is because versatility in order to raise the stacks you must use up to skills so up to skill damage is really helpful so it will increase the damage of all our up to skills that we utilize in order to reach 9 stacks with versatility now waste guard in this one I was lucky to get the veterans waste card with damage taken and sentience charge, really good. In case if you would like to go with another star effect, you can go with either apti skill damage or anything that you prefer. Another thing important to mention is tenacity damage over time, really good uh, special effect to have, have it in case if you have trouble with potion or fire. Our griefs it has touch key consumption, apti skill damage and faster winded recovery which is really important as well. Accessories. I'm using Japanese scissors and Yasakani Magatama. Now the reason why I decided to go with Japanese scissors is because Japanese scissors has already a fixed stat with anima 0 0.9. You can get one with one anima actually but it's quite rare. And also I have this accessory because I have sentience charge 60% and melee damage versus corrupted enemy 19.6% it would be perfect to have a third uh, star effect and that would be melee damage versus zero key enemy but unfortunately we don't have it yet it's, a, it's still a really good accessory other than that you can go with any special effects that you desire I have corrupted uh, corruption accumulation sorry and I have element affliction duration element affliction duration works to reduce the duration time of debuffs and Omnium Magic Power simply because we are using our Water Familiar Talisman and our Guardian Spirit Talisman at least to boost a little bit of damage in there our Yasakani Magatama this one is almost perfect as well I wish we had a fourth uh, star effect 
and that will be melee damage versus corrupted enemy but unfortunately we don't have it yet it's an amazing just a candy that I got in there. I have a slot Omnium Magic Hit, melee damage versus zero key enemy, and sentience charge 59.4%. We have corrupted accumulation enemy. Now our scroll, now this scroll is very similar, right? Of course it is similar, it is familiar because I used it on the previous build. Now as you may see you already know, I already explained on the previous uh, video and that's why we have sentience charging here because see this scroll is being shared with the purified key damage build now our magic is usually the same stuff i uh, the only difference is that i have fire stop talisman but you can remove it and add something else whatever you prefer or simply don't use it but other than that all our magic is all the same extraction barrier Water Talisman, Garden Spirit Talisman, everything is the same, nothing changes in here. Now, our Garden Spirit, Baku. Baku is one of the best, if not the best Guardian Spirit in the game. Really, really good. It has really good special effects and also is a corrupted Guardian Spirit, a corruption Guardian Spirit. Um, we also take advantage of the melee damage versus corrupted enemy 10% really really helpful and our soul cores are nightmare bringer of course nightmare bringer is a must another soul core that is a must for corruption builds we have melee damage versus corrupted enemy 16.6% at max rank and also we have anima charge awakened weapon with the stacks with the one that we have in our magasuhi grace which is 50% plus 21.5 is a total of 71.5% of awaken, uh, anima charge of awakened weapon. Crazy, you're going to gain a lot of anima. We have another variant of Epon. This Epon has life drain drug ability, anima bonus corrupted, ascension charge. And last but not least, our Kasha. Kasha has some Rita bonus and Rita absorption. Sorry, Anima Bonus and Breed Absorption, B- minus, Attack 66 and Sentience Charge. This Anima Bonus and Rita stacks with the one that we have in our Split Staff, so I believe that it reaches B+, probably. Our secondary Garden Spirit, I decided to go with Sohaya. Many reasons, Sohaya is a Feral, I love Barrel Counterburst, and also has high Atomen cost, which is 26. Not only that, but it also works for, for example, new Tengu that has really fast counterparts, which is really difficult to counter with Brute or Nightmare Bringer, for example, as I explained before. So, not only that, also, if you are dealing with bosses that they like to fuck you up with uh, different elements, we have Nullify Confusion 100% if it's your main Guardian Spirit. If it's not your main Guardian Spirit, well, it's going to be 50%, but something is something. Our soul course, as you can see, I have Nightmare Bringer, Epon, and Yomi. Same as usual, this Nightmare Bringer is a really good Nightmare Bringer. I was lucky to, to get it. Anima bonus, corrupted enemies, sentient charge, and anima. Our Epon is the same Epon I've been using for our Feral Guardian Spirits. Uh, anima, your ability damage all and confused enemy. And Jomi, our Jomi has Anima Charge Bonus and Rita Couch A+, Sentience Charge and Anima 1.5. Really, really amazing, honestly. Now, I'm going to explain how do I reach 7,200 in our axe. Uh, pretty much 7,000 in our weapons overall. Now, as you can see, the most important one is that we have Attack Bonus Magic and Attack Bonus Courage. Those are the main scaling for Axe. In order to reach that, you must remodel this in the blacksmith. In order to have A minus, uh, A minus on both stats, on so magic and courage. Uh, not only that, but also Baku provides a high attack stat. As you can see, 462, that affects our weapon. And on top of that, on our Kasha, we have plus 66 attack really really good that's why we have 7000 attack 
Now something else I didn't mention on the video, this is pre-recorded and I'm truly sorry about that, but our sentience charge reaches over 400. So having 400 sentience charge, really amazing. Your weapon will awaken really fast, you will deal more damage and you will gain more anima. So that's it for today, thank you very much for tuning, if you have any questions leave a comment, subscribe and see you on the next one, bye guys.